we'll solve the next quadratic equation by completing the square. Completing the square is an important method for solving quadratic equations, and it's very useful when, for example, finding the vertex of a parabola or finding the center of a circle. So let's solve this equation by the method completing the square. Notice it is a quadratic equation. Since I'm solving by completing the square, I'll go ahead and leave this constant on the right side of the equation. And notice I have x squared minus 6x, I'll leave a space, is equal to negative 2. Now we want to complete the square on the left side so that the resulting trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. To do so, we take the coefficient of x, which is negative 6, we divide that by 2, and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and then we square that result, and that result squared is 9. So 9 is the number that will complete the square. That means I will add 9 to the left side of this equation. Do not forget to keep the equality going. I must add 9 to the right side also. Factor this. If you have completed the square correctly, it will be a binomial times that same binomial, which is the case here. It's x minus 3 times x minus 3, which I will write as x minus 3 quantity squared is equal to whatever this is, in our case, 7. I kind of call this the halfway point by completing the square. Once you get it to this point, you can use that square root property and finish. If this squared is equal to 7, then x minus 3 itself is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. And then how do you solve for x? You add 3 to both sides, and we'll have x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 7. This equation has two solutions. Here they are, and they are the same whether you solve by completing the square or the quadratic formula.